Hello everyone, we have a couple of Tamiya dinosaur models. Miri wants to paint them, right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. She wants to paint them. I bought them for that reason. They were cheap. I paid $10 for both on Amazon with shipping. And they came from Japan, of all, which really surprised me. So someone basically wanted to get rid of them. Because I paid nothing for them, including shipping. The Triceratops are what Miri would call Dozer. Because she watches a TV show called War Tr uh, Dino Trucks. She calls it Roar Trucks. Um, is right here. There's not very many sprues to it. And there are separate directions. I figured the directions would be on the back of the box. Sorry about the fingernails, but Miri painted them this morning. And I just let her paint them. The directions are pretty straightforward. I did not expect this to be a great kit due to the price of it. Okay. Yes, as soon as they're put together, you will get to paint them. <laughs> Opening this. Because Miri is painting these. These are the Miri project today. We have two sprue. The skin uh, could be textured better, but it is textured. Okay. That is something I didn't really expect too much of on this kit of this price. The horns are solid, which is good. The legs are two parts, which means nasty seamage when you go to fix that skin. Uh, that's going to be really hard to deal with. The head is two parts. That's going to be hard to fix, too, if you want to do this model right. I love those. Okay, now, here's an example of good skin detail. This is the Pegasus Models T-Rex, okay? This is good skin detail. I just stalled out on time on him and never picked him back up because the tail right here was not fixing well. Everything else, I mean, the seam along these legs fixed beautifully. The arms, the mouth, the neck, everything fixed really well. I just stalled out on the tail. This is not the dinosaur. This is a dinosaur. Dinosaur, a, a big right. All right. Now the other one is the Stegosaurus. It's what Mary would call a Garby. Did you realize this was Garby? No, that is Garby. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. It's Garby. Where's Garby? You left him in the other room. Oh, okay. We'll go get him in a little bit. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Just look up Dino Trucks if you don't know who Garby uh -huh. is. Yep, Godzilla is up there. Yes, he's like Alright, now this one has better texture on the skin. This one is set nice. The seams are just going to be what kills you on this. Alright, well, I'm giving it to Miri to paint. I'm not worried about the seams too much. This is nice. But this one is definitely better done than the other one. This much better done. This well, let me stop, put them together, and I will come back and show you the completed models. Then we'll let Miri do her thing, and we'll show you what she does with them. Okay? So, I'm going to stop recording and start putting together so this one can paint. You want to paint, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, everyone. We got the Stegosaurus half put together. It is giving me a few troubles with the seam. Ordinarily on something this big, I would slowly glue it together along the seam. I'm going to have to re-glue that tail. But the thing about it is the seams are going together fairly well. That could be sanded out. And when they designed the model, they designed it so the seams really aren't too terrible on it. Okay? Because if you look, a little bit of work, you could fill that seam out and blend it out. It wouldn't be too bad, of course, as dinosaur models go. I'm not doing any of that because, well, little one's going to paint up fluorescent colors, and it's not going to look like a dinosaur that's anyhow. That's so there's no point shoot. on it. Also, if you squeeze it tight, you can see right here. Hmm? Hmm? This? The shooter? <laughs> she calls these shoots. <laughs> You, you can see that if you put a little bit of effort into it and you squeeze it good, it does leave a raised seam. So, 
I'm, I'm not disappointed in the kit. For what I paid for it, it, it seems to be an excellent little kit. I mean, how realistic is your dinosaur going to be? I don't know. Okay? I really don't know. But it looks like you could do a good job of it. The accuracy, according to the subject, is a little low. I suspect because those toes... A good person could paint them and make them look good. A little bit of seam work, and you can make this look a lot better than it does. That is my take on this. I'll be back when we get him all the way put together to talk about the rest, but it's pretty close to put together. I am not using the Tamiya green. I'm using the Tamiya orange because the green wasn't seeming to hold very well at first. And this is a Tamiya model. you think their cement would work, but it was saying kind of, no. I don't want to hold well. Okay? Yeah, and that's what I was afraid of. The leg seams are going to be pretty bad. That was the biggest fear I had. Those leg seams are never really good. All right, I'll be back in a little bit once I get done with this and let you see the model before Miri fluorescentizes it because we got some fluorescent paints for her to work with. Okay, not these. <laughs> she wants to use these, but being a little girl, she's not going to use enamels. All right, I'll be back in a bit. Hello everyone, the Stegosaurus is built. Now, let's talk about this model, because it is a Tamiya model. Tamiya does make good models, generally, okay? This is kind of an exception, kind of not. And the reason I say kind of not is because it's hard to make a model of something you know what it should look like, okay? Now, they make car models. The car models do look up like what they're supposed to, but I'm talking about natural things like dogs, cats, elephants. These are hard things to do because dogs, cats, elephants don't have joints, yet they're fluid. A car, it has panel lines. You expect them to be there, and if a good model designer can put their seams along those panel lines, they can hide them. Well... You can't hide that, and you can't hide the seam down the center of this guy. Okay? It's just really hard to do. Hopefully my camera is focusing today. There it goes. You can't hide that seam down the center. Now, this seam down the center here isn't too bad until you get to the head. Then it gets bad. But it's still not too bad because there's not a lot of texture on the model along there. There should be because dinosaurs are scaly. That's what the common expectation is. But there's no texture there. So you can fix that and pull that off pretty easily. The problem is the seams on the legs. Okay? We look at this seam right here. That is textured and it's heavily textured. So it's going to be really hard to hide that seam. Now the textures do line up. I probably could have done a better job of aligning it a little bit. But it's going to be hard to fix. I'm not going to lie. And there's really not much Tamiya could do about that seam. That's just it. Unless the model was just two pieces and you glued them together. Or it's a solid resin peat model. Which wouldn't have seams except for it have a pore seam. Okay, and you couldn't do this as a solid resin piece. You're stuck with some seams. Now, the seam down the central body wouldn't be too bad to fix all the way across. You could fix it pretty easily. The seams on the edge of the legs, they aren't so bad. They can be fixed fairly easily with someone with a little bit of skill. It's where the legs join the body that's going to be trouble. I've done seam work like that before. I know I could fix it. I could actually, this actually could turn into a fairly decent model. The mouth's a little weak. The eyes are a little weak. Actually, the eyes aren't very weak, but they're a little bit. The mouth is definitely on the weak side. No texture around the head and no texture down the center where the spine goes. That's because of that central um, joint for that body. But outside that shape, it's pretty decent. Okay, so the way it looks is pretty decent. Uh, a skilled model builder with some paint and some good seam filling skills could probably turn this into a decent looking model. I really do believe that. Okay. But I'm turning it over to my three-year-old for painting this weekend because, well, she likes painting things like this and I'm going to let her. So this was never intended to be a good model. Not for the price I paid for it either. I think I paid $4 for this with shipping from China. Okay. So it was pretty cheap. 
So I don't expect much out of it. Now, it's better than the Lindbergh offerings they have by far. So it's not bad, but it's still not on par with what Pegasus Hobbies has. Okay? And I've shown this before, and there are videos of this up to the point where I was when I quit working on it. But if you look at this guy, look at the texture on this. Everywhere, well textured. Okay? I do have a little bit of seam work right along. Well, actually, that line's supposed to be there, so I don't have any seam work there. I have to work on his neck just a little bit right in there and the tail. And that's where I quit working on the seams on this. You can't see where the legs were joined in or the arms. I did good with that. I just have some work on the tail and around the neck, just a little bit around the neck. Not a lot. I could probably fix that with a micro drill, to be honest with you. The tail, however, it's in trouble. I'm going to have to really remove some of that material and retexture that tail. But this one, take a look at the difference. Okay, I can believe this is a dinosaur. This, uh, I don't know, it, it looks wrinkly, like an ancient Sharpe. Everyone know what Sharpe is when I talk about dogs? Ancient Sharpe dinosaur compared to this one. This one looks like a dinosaur. This one looks like he's 108 years old, all wrinkly and been in the bathtub for 12 hours too long. But again, for the price you paid for it and the little bit of work, you can make it look nice. So I'm not going to rate it as a bad dinosaur model, which is not a good one. Okay, there, it could be better, but it could be far, far worse. All right. So up next is the Tyrannosaurus, I mean the T-Rex, not, not the T-Rex, sorry, the Triceratops. And it already is going to get a bad rating on me because the head is in two pieces, okay? There are very few alignment pins on that head, and with so few alignment pins, it's designed to be put together on the body after you've already built the body. There's no way that seam's going to line up right. There's too much air in that gap. So the Triceratops is not going to get a right, a good rating on it. Um, Miri will call this one Dozer, and she will call this one Garby. If you've ever watched Dino Trucks, you'll know where she's getting the names from. She watches Dino Trucks, okay? She carries around little toy versions of Dino Trucks, along with Godzilla's. She's a weird girl. And Minnie Mouse and Barbies. Okay, it's definitely a girl, no doubt there. Just got some strange ideas on things. That's probably my fault, to be honest. All right, I hope you enjoy it. I'll be back soon.